Going on a nature walk and deliberately noticing things encourages your child to observe with all her senses. Your child will learn to focus her attention and take in the details of things around her. It can be a peaceful, reflective experience for you both. Walk around your local area if you live near the bush or go to a local park or nature reserve. Plan a longer excursion to a nature reserve or beach. Encourage your child to pay attention to his environment with all his senses. You can do this by asking questions as you go. Take as long as your child wants. You don't have to finish the walk if something catches your child's interest along the way. Let the walk be about connecting with the environment and enjoying time together, rather than getting to the end. When you get home, make some time for your child to reflect on the walk. She could draw pictures of it, write a story about it, or perhaps make a collage with her lives and feathers. The world is an interesting place with lots of things to learn about. However, many young children are better at identifying exotic animals like a tiger or whale than the local plants and wildlife that live around them. Luckily, families can venture outside armed with fun games to help children safely explore the world and habitat around them. During your nature walks, look for all the colors you can see, or one specific color, and make a color journal. You can also make up something you have to do when you see a color, hop three times when you see purple, walk backwards when you see orange. At every intersection, flip a coin. Go right on heads, left on tails. If you get heads or tails twice in a row, go straight. With children five and up, talk about chance or keep track of the flips. On a hot day, go for a walk in sunny and shady areas, waterside areas, or breezy areas, and notice how the temperature is lower in the shade and even lower in shady areas with trees, or with a breeze off the water. Walk in the rain, walk through puddles, and above all, get wet. Talk or walk around your neighborhood, city or town, notice how houses are alike or different, size, shape, roofs, windows, doors, porches, landscape. There are many benefits of connecting children and nature including health, wellness, and establishing a connection to the natural world. Being receptive means listening and being aware of the outside world. Some children are not used to watching nature closely, so find things that interest them and lead them bit by bit into the spirit of keen observation. One of the best and most traditional way to spend time outdoors as a family is to go hiking. Find educational, environmental activities for kids to help you teach your children to go green.